Hello everyone, my name is Martin from Airliners Live and today we received a parcel from Thrustmaster, an awesome peripheral, the brand new TCA Captain Pack X Airbus edition. Let's have a look. And here it is, ladies and gents. The brand new peripheral for Microsoft Flight Simulator from Thrustmaster. Really excited to have a look at this. The Airbus is something we fly a lot on our flight sim shows and I fly a lot personally as well in the sim. Packaging looks great as you can see. The set comes with the, uh, the joystick and the throttle quadrant as well. And it also includes the extras on the side which is a flat lever, the speed brake and uh, all the other good stuff there as well. So let's get in, let's have a look. First thing, we've got some information and <laughs> there. A nice little remove before flight on top of the box there. Nice touch that Thrustmaster. And uh, instruction manual in the box as well. First, get the uh, side stick out. Move that to one side. And this is uh, modeled on the uh, real world Airbus controls as well. They've done a good job on the colors for sure. One of the things I really like about this stick uh, being left-handed is that it's uh, ambidextrous, so it fits well in either hand. And that's good as well, depending on what side of the aircraft you like to sit on. Um, build quality is great, the stick feels really nice, nice and responsive, and uh, lots of buttons on here as well, which I'm sure you can map uh, to whatever you wish in the sim. Autopilot disconnect button there as well. Okay, and now the throttle quadrant. This is what I've really been looking forward to because this is... Uh, like a copy of the Airbus real world throttle quadrant. So uh, this will be great for the immersion in the sim and things like that, which is kind of what we're all going for. And there it is, nice size as well, not too big. Okay, so it has got the, has got the detents on there, which is great. It's not just a marking on there. You can actually feel the click of uh, where you flex and togo and climb thrust will be, things like that. Looks like, yeah, you got levers there to get into uh, reverse thrust, which is which is really nice. That's a great touch, actually, especially on a uh, throttle quadrant of this price. Nice. Flap control, very nice. Nice clicks again, nice and responsive. So you really know without looking at the uh, throttle quadrant where you are position-wise, which is exactly what you need. Speed brake. Again, with nice detents on it. Really, really nice. Everything feels great on this so far. Um, landing gear, lever, nice responsive click on that. Auto brake. One thing I really do like that they've included is the engine start switches. This is a great little addition, actually. Again, it all just helps with that immersion, guys. It's, uh, it's awesome. And uh, yes, yeah, little parking brake. Little parking brake lever there as well. And uh, rudder trim. You see how that springs back there, again, just like it does in the Airbus itself. So yeah, all in all, yeah, it feels really nice. It looks great. We'll put it side by side with the side stick. Now this does work on both PC and Xbox. It has been designed with Xbox in mind as well. So it's great for you guys who are maybe doing your flying on Xbox and you're looking for a decent side stick and throttle quadrant to get yourself set up. This will be a perfect setup, especially if you like flying the Airbus. There's a switch just on the back of this here where you switch from PC to Xbox mode. And for you guys who need to get into the Xbox menus, there's an easy, easy click button there to do that as well. Again, the buttons that you would see on your controller at home. So they really have thought about everything you'll need to uh, get cracking on Xbox. For you guys on PC, of course, it's all just USB straight into your PC. There's also a, uh, a locking switch here, which is really nice for you guys who've got rudder pedals. So if you give that a click, it just seems to lock the, uh, the twist on that as well. For those of you who don't have rudder pedals, you can twist the joystick when that's released, which is, uh, which is really nice. Again, they just seem to have thought about all the little things that need to be on this. We'll just move this to one side and we'll just have a quick look at what else you get in the box. Um, quite a nice handy document here, which kind of shows the mapping. If you're new to this sort of thing, it gives you all of the features and uh, all of the controls that it's set up to do. So you can go through this and have a have a quick look. It gives you some mounting options and stuff like that on the other side, so take a look at that. We've got the USB cables, a really decent length as well for you to connect all of this up. 
put them to one side and um, yeah it looks like we have extra buttons for the side stick because this supports you being on both the captain side or the first officer side which is really good obviously depending on which side of the aircraft you're flying on uh, the autopilot disconnect switch would be on the other side so they've included that in the box and you can just swap those over again a really good thoughtful addition from uh, Frostmaster there these seem to have covered everything on this setup okay now it's out of the box we're gonna head over get it in the sim take it for a flight and we'll let you know our full thoughts after that. We've just took it for a quick spin in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We did a couple of uh, circuits around Liverpool. Thrustmaster have sent us this joystick, but they're quite happy for us to give you our honest opinions. And the first thing that I was really happy about is right out of the box, it's all configured and all ready to go with the uh, default uh, A320 Neo. Um, you do need to install the Thrustmaster software which is available on their website and we'll link it in the description as well. Um, once you've done that, you open Microsoft Flight Sim, there's already a profile there which is all ready to go. You load in the plane and uh, you're ready to get flying. We did take it up for a flight in the fly-by-wire. Um, there's also the Phoenix Airbus as well. We've linked some documents and videos in the description. Uh, the video we used for the fly-by-wire was from uh, Jonathan Beckett. So we've linked his video on how to set these up for the fly-by-wire Airbus. And uh, we've also linked the Phoenix Sim documents in the description below from the help center if you wanna fly it with the Phoenix as well. So you can use any of the Airbuses which are available in Microsoft Flight Simulator at the moment with this set. Um, so as I said, we flew it with the fly-by-wire Neo. And um, the only thing we had to change was the, uh, the way the throttles were set up. Everything else worked straight out of the box. So really, really quick to get going. Let's start with the throttle quadrant. Really happy with the build quality for this. For the price at $249.99, you're getting lots of switches. They all feel great. The detents felt great as well. You can easily tell when you're at climb, flex and toga really easy they're not going to fall out there guys of the detent the flap lever again really nice quality on this really easy and again you can't knock it out of the detents too easily very easy to uh, move up and down it doesn't include the lift latch on there but again with the price of the unit we wouldn't expect that things like the parking brake again there's no lift on that really like the addition of the engine switches again nice tactile switches on these no issues whatsoever with the build quality guys really really happy with this um, so we'll put this to one side and let's have a look at the side stick so thrustmaster they've been going for years making peripherals for flight sim for driving sims so they really know what they're doing with this sort of thing and the joystick there's nothing to complain about guys it's absolutely great it does what it needs to do but the response of it when we were doing the circuits it was really nice you can make the small corrections which you like to make and uh, flaring the aircraft at the end absolutely great no issues with it whatsoever i do really like the uh, twist function on the joystick as well i've been flying with thrustmasters rudder pedals for a long time and every now and again when you want to do a quick flight having the option there to just use the joystick and not have to get your pedals out is a nice touch but again if you do want to use your pedals that handy switch there just locks a twist which is great Lots of buttons. This one here is for braking the aircraft. Again, if you don't have rudder pedals, works really nicely. The nice thing about this is the way they've set the profile up in the sim. Um, it's not just 100% braking straight away. It's a nice smooth braking action. So that's really, really nice. Um, and they've also included a, um, a POV switch as well. So you can look around the windows, look out the left and right whilst you're flying. So yeah, again, really, really good. One thing I want to mention about this, which I did really like, is this is not only the side stick but also a usb hub as well um, for your other peripherals so you don't have to run all of your cables back to the pc you just plug this one in and your throttles connect into the uh, socket on the back there and it all kind of links in 
This has been a close look at the Thrustmaster TCA Captain Pack X. We really like it guys, especially if you're flying Airbus a lot in the sim, we definitely recommend it. Awesome job replicating not only the Airbus throttle quadrant, but the side stick as well. The great thing is with this is it can be extended so you can have four engines if you wish and these can move to one side or if you don't want to buy the full pack you can just buy the throttle quadrant on its own and these side pieces you can get later as optional extras. So lots of options available, we'll link those in the description down below. Make sure you check those out on Thrustmaster's website. We definitely recommend it, it gets a big thumbs up from Airliners Live. This has been a close look at Thrustmaster's new Airbus peripheral. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. If you've got one of these yourself or you're looking to buy one and you've got any questions, get a comment down below, we'll give you an answer straight away. Um, but for now, We've been Airliners Live, taking a look at Thrustmaster's brand new peripheral, and we'll see you on the next video.